Mike Bataille. Mike Bataille, an actor and comedian best known for his role on Breaking Bad, has died. He was 52. What's your name? Dennis. Dennis. Hey, I'm Steve Gomez. I'm with the DEA, Drug Enforcement. Is there, is there a problem? Bataille's manager, Steve Owens, said the actor died from a heart attack in his sleep on June 1 and that his funeral service will be held June 17 at Risen Christ Lutheran Church in Plymouth, Michigan. A family statement about his passing said, He will be greatly missed by those who loved him and his great ability to bring laughter and joy to so many. Bataille appeared in three episodes of Breaking Bad in 2011. He also has credits in areas of film and television, including a voice acting role in X-Men, Days of Future Past, and appearances in Prank of America, Battle Creek, etc. Maureen Nash Maureen Nash, a movie star from the 1940s and 50s who appeared in The Big Fix, Giant, and The Southerner, died June 6. She was 99. Nash died Tuesday of natural causes at her home in Beverly Hills, California. Her oldest son, Lee Siegel Jr., told The Hollywood Reporter. Nash appeared in approximately two dozen features during her two-decade acting career. She also had roles in several B-movies like 1953's Phantom from Space. Nash's big break came in 1947 when she starred in The Big Fix a movie about a gambling ring fixing college basketball games. Noreen was last pictured in 2020 enjoying a nostalgic garden lunch with self-help coach and author Gary Quinn. Nash is survived by four great-grandchildren. Four grandchildren. Pat Cooper Pat Cooper, the veteran stand-up comedian whose decades-long career included appearances in Seinfeld and The Howard Stern Show has died June 6 at his home in Las Vegas. He was 93. That's his mom and I for 30 years, say something. That's his mom, I got Jewish friends and Italian friends coming for dinner. What am I gonna cook? She says, locks, parmesan. The death was announced in a statement by his wife, Emily Connor. For more than 50 years, Mr. Cooper, clad in a tuxedo and Clark Kent spectacles, ranted comedically about his background his family, the people who he felt had wronged him, and just about anything else that bothered him. The Brooklyn-born comic first found success opening for Frank Sinatra at the Sands in Las Vegas. Cooper was also known for being a roast master at the Friars Club, where comedians throw their best jokes at each other. Cooper is survived by his wife, Emily Connor, two daughters, and one son. George Winston George Winston, who during decades when pop and rock dominated the musical landscape, became a best-selling musician by playing soothing piano instrumentals in a style that was often described as New Age, but that he liked to call rural folk piano, died on June 4 in Williamsport, Pennsylvania. He was 74. I always uh, donate the proceeds to the CD sales also. Okay. The food bank. And... Uh, I was wanting a way to... George Winston has passed on after a 10-year battle with cancer. In 2013, he also had a bone marrow transplant for myelodysplastic syndrome. Throughout his career, Winston sold over 15 million records and performed nearly 100 concerts annually. Pat Robertson Pat Robertson, the prominent longtime TV host, religious broadcaster, educator, humanitarian who founded the Christian Broadcasting Network, made the Christian right a powerful political force and unsuccessfully ran for president in 1988, died on June 8 at his home in Virginia Beach early Thursday morning. He was 93. Born in 1930, Robertson founded the Christian Broadcasting Network in 1960 and was ordained as a Southern Baptist minister a year later. He was one of the driving forces of a movement to increase the influence of the religious right in U.S. politics. For decades, Robertson hosted a CBN talk show called The 700 Club that combined religious news and political commentary with light entertainment. The Iron Sheik 
professional wrestler, and World Wrestling Entertainment Hall of Famer The Iron Sheik has died June 7, according to an announcement on his Twitter page. He was 81 years old. Today, we gather with heavy hearts to bid farewell to a true legend, a force of nature, and an iconic figure who left an incredible mark on the world of professional wrestling, the announcement said. I was 180 pounds, but I was so much fun in love with the wrestling. No official cause of death was given. The Iron Sheik, whose real name was Hossein Khosro Ali Vaziri, was born in Iran where he first began his wrestling career. He grew to prominence in the US in the 1980s as one of the greatest villains in sports entertainment history, best recognized for his curled boots and dreaded camel cutch finishing hold, and anti-American sentiment against other professional wrestlers. The Iron Sheik became champion of then World Wrestling Federation in 1983 and held the title for just under a month before losing to Hulk Hogan. Astrid Gilberto Astrid Gilberto, the Brazilian bossa nova singer best known for the girl from Ipanema, has died June 5, aged 83. One of Brazil's biggest stars of the 1960s and 70s, she recorded 16 albums and worked with artists ranging from Quincy Jones to George Michael. Her version of the girl from Ipanema sold more than 5 million copies and helped to popularize Bossa Nova. Sofia Gilberto, the artist's granddaughter, broke the news of her death on Instagram. No cause of death was immediately available. Gilberto performed on two songs on the 1964 album Gets, with her vocals for The Girl from Ipanema, earning her a Grammy nomination for Best Vocal Performance by a Female. The song itself won a Grammy for Song of the Year. Pat Casey, American BMX star and three-time X Games medalist Pat Casey has died in a motorcycle accident aged just 29. The incident occurred around 2.45 p.m. at Slayground Motocross Park in Ramona, California on June 6, after he lost control and was subsequently thrown from his motorbike, according to CBS 8. Casey was reportedly riding with friends when the tragedy occurred. He was pronounced dead at the scene despite paramedics attempting to save his life for 55 minutes, per the San Diego Sheriff's Office. Investigations into the death are still ongoing. The 29-year-old was a prominent figure in the BMX world, winning gold at the 2021 X Games. Casey is survived by his wife, Chase, and his two young children, Reed, and Tatum. Carol Twiston Asenbrunner Seth gamer Carol Twiston Asenbrunner died June 7 by suicide, is his sports team Team Vitality announced on Twitter. He was 19. Popular by his screen name Twiston, Asenbrunner's wrote good night in his last tweet. The post has already garnered over 5.5 million views. Sharing the news of his death, Team Vitality's assistant coach Harry Gorilla Mepham tweeted, I woke up this morning to the news of one of my closest friends, someone who genuinely felt as if he was my brother, taking his own life. Words cannot describe the grief or emptiness I'm feeling right now. I loved him and forever will. Eisenbrenner started his esports career in 2020 with the SEC team Kings of Sosnovka, and competed in various Valorant tournaments across Europe. Paul Eckstein Paul Eckstein, co-creator and executive producer of the drama series Godfather of Harlem and an actor who appeared multiple times on Star Trek, Voyager and other shows, has died. He was 59. A spokesperson for MGM and ABC Signature told Deadline that he died unexpectedly in his sleep on June 6. Family and friends described Eckstein as many things. A celebrated storyteller, a devoted husband, and a faithful friend, but his most important role was father. Eckstein is survived by his sons, Sebastian and Marley Eckstein, and his wife, Hadalakari, along with extended family.